Charles Waterton invented the concept of the nature reserve and was, perhaps, the world's first environmentalist. In this video, I visit the site of the reserve, but with a difference. For this trip, I'm with the three times great grandson of the man himself. He is also called Charles and is from Perth in Western Australia. In our walk, the vegetation growth from what I can only call our rainy season puts us in mind of Waterton's own wanderings in the Amazon in search of the Makushi tribe. I'd now like you to join us in our quest to find his famous ancestor's grave. A bit like the exploration of the South, South American interior. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. It's quite wild. I just thought it'd be easier on this. Oh, right. Because there are slippy parts later on, so okay, minimise that to the we're into easy, yes. absolute extent. I mean, I remember David Waterton Anderson telling me many years ago that the grave was extremely hard to get to because of, you know, just difficulty access and it was, yeah, you know, it's all over well, you, so we, I, I could barely find it the other day when you, when you rung, I was yeah. around about here actually. Uh, but you'll have some good views of the uh, hall from this side oh, as well. Okay. So if that helps mitigate the <laughs> the overgrowth <laughs> oh, <laughs> elsewhere. Okay. I'm sure the squire would uh, approve of the growth of... I'm sure he would. <laughs> well, I'm sure he I would. I quite like the fact that they sort of mow around the edges and they leave a natural bit in the middle. Yeah. It looks rather nice. Well, the move, the move now in, in sort of... Uh, reservation on, on the road and stuff is uh, having like natural flowers and stuff yeah, it's and lovely. not cutting oh, grass. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they mow that, uh, keep that mowing and keep it away from the... And those are the, the sort of, and, those are the, and those are the sort of things that were invented here. Yeah, true. Ironically, but they're on is that every road or yeah. a that's lot of true. the roads. That's true. Well, I know... You just I, have one idea and it just cascades. Yeah. I, I used, where I was, one of the places I worked, used to, uh, also did, did environmental work, and the botanist there, the Dames of Moormark, yeah. the botanist there used to say that the road verges were the best place to find, to find uh, unusual plant, plant, you know, rare plants, and you get, you, you know, you want a list, a list of the, what's common in the area, mm -hmm. you look at the road verges. Yeah. Because, just because they get, they get, you know, okay. every now and then they'll get mowed or whatever. It's up this way. Carriages. This is where it's... Right, okay. I mean, the route's pretty simple, but it's just like, once you get towards the end... Yes. And yes. it gets a bit muddier further okay. on, so you have to just walk carefully. I haven't got my wellies. I haven't got any wellies. That was the trouble when we were staying at Frisbee on the Reef. Um, there was lovely walks everywhere, but there'd been so much rain. I know. You yeah. just couldn't have walked in, in, we've got good walking shoes, but you just couldn't have done it. This time of year, you'd expect... Uh, you would expect... Exactly. You'd expect a dusty yeah. appearance yeah. rather than like that. Oh, but talking yeah. of like uh, nature in road areas, I, w I worked in... Uh, uh, a place called Bolton upon Dern, and right. my journey we used to say, go through Bra uh, Barnsley, yeah. and there was this roundabout, and it was like a, wa a rabbit warren. Oh, really? So you, you're queuing just to get onto the roundabout, yeah. and you can see about three, four, five rabbits, rabbits. just sort of basking in the sun, <laughs> and nothing can get to them because the, the road's yeah. full of traffic. <laughs> so you're not going to get any foxes sort of going looking for, no. looking get for their the, dinner sort of thing. Get the occasional run over rabbit. But yeah. Well, they probably know about yeah. uh, the dangers, unless they've sort of installed tunnels. On, on some parts of the wall, they've, they've reconstructed things, it's, although sometimes with bits of breeze block and stuff. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but the little holes in the wall so that animals can get through. Oh, right. Small like about that. Go on. I mean, when I did oh, that look. video, I tried to go around the entire perimeter. The about, look, there they are. Yeah. She's sitting all the geese are back and I, and I thought, well, I wonder where they are. There they are. What's that building there? That, I think that's actually built into the wall. 
oh. and it's like a lodge i think oh, there's, okay. there's a bit of a gate at the top oh, okay. so presumably that oh. was part of the estate originally right yeah that's next to the next canal bridge right and just beyond that that's where you've got the cutting where they had to divert the canal right because the watertons wouldn't let them go across their land so the canal would have probably gone right round like here on the right instead of having to go through that hill yeah okay. they, uh they, they'd have come around here but oh, they, they said no Dolphins. you can see them on the lake as well yeah. the ducks. Yes. yeah that's a heron as well there it look. is, it is oh yes indeed. there's a heron yeah but there what was, an idyllic there was spot. a heron there's was a heronry that's part of the the anglers country park area where oh, you were talking about right, yeah. uh, right and right. that's it's called the heronry yeah, okay right. okay yes. to this place here where he's where he's buried we've got a sketch of that no we? we? there's an engraving engraving there's an engraving which we've got a copy of it's not because i think my, one of the stories my granddad told me that when he died they, uh, I mean, not that he was around at the time, but yeah, yeah. but the story was that when he, when he died, all the birds came to him. I've heard that story. Um, oh, that might be written down somewhere. Oh, might be yeah. apocryphal, but it's a nice story. <laughs> well, they say he used to, I mean, yeah, exactly. That, that you know, birds weren't frightened of him, and mm. you know, they'd come and, but whether that's true or not, you know. You think of the willy wagtails in our garden, oh, yeah, who are used to us being in the garden. They know our name's and, Waterton. And, 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 <coughs> they, um, and they graciously let us share their garden with them. Uh, and they're not frightened, they just come down and sit, you know, chirp alongside you. Yeah, I've yeah. got some, uh, now we're going into the depths of the jungle sort of thing. You don't have to use uh, machetes or anything. No. <laughs> But when it's sunny like this, it's quite, uh, it's pleasant. You can see just the yeah. little rays of, yeah. Then obviously all the vegetation changes. <laughs> it's a bit drier than it was a few days ago. Yeah, just walk carefully. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, nice steady walk as well. Oh, it's lovely. You know, the sounds and... Oh, no. magic. We've got sticks in the car too. We have. Yeah, there's some, uh, some things that can serve as like a marker to remind me where I am as well. Then we need to cut off because I went straight past it last time. <laughs> All right. But I think in winter you'd probably be able to see the cross. Oh, yes, of course. The... Yeah, you could imagine that, that when you know say that was David said told me he said you know it's really hard to get to if this if, if this track hadn't wasn't here mm -hmm. impossible, it would be it would well, be the, it's probably by the lake you could probably row over might, yeah. oh yeah but if you didn't know but, and also if you knew roughly where it was but not precisely you could wander around in this sort of stuff for, yeah forever I nearly did that on the weekend. <laughs> no, know where I'm going now. So. Yeah. Well, we're leading you off into. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have to send a flare up or something. Do we need to leave breadcrumbs behind? <laughs> no, it's pretty. Uh, yeah. Quite <laughs> a way above the lake, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we're going that. down now. Though. Yeah, I hadn't. I hadn't noticed that we were climbing particularly. Mm. There you go. Shows how unobservant I am. We went to on this this while we were while we were staying at Frisbee on the Rig to Deeping St James, which is where Charles's son moved to when he sold this place, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, where he lived 
is the old manor house, but it's been demolished long, you know, and it's all been developed. But there's the Waterton Arms, the pub, and there's the, the chapel, and uh, there's the old Waterton Chapel, which, uh, and he was buried there, but um, we've, I've made, we, he wasn't there, but I've made contact with the guy who, own, who owns that place, and the next time we come, we'll go back and see him. And uh, he, he uh, getting, getting, late, mate. getting closer then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he, uh, it told me that the because uh, I the last I you know I heard which once again was 20 30 years ago um, the chapel was in ruins and uh, his gr Ed Edmund's grave was there and he was buried in the chapel but uh, the chapel has now been repurposed you know well, what do you call it you know when they do a barn conversion well they do a chapel. Oh, right it's a hat it's a house now and the guy that lives in it, I said, I made contact with him and um, I didn't meet him, I emailed contact with him and uh, we'll go and see him next time we come to the UK. And uh, he said that he, Edmund's body was, was, was moved to a grave, a graveyard somewhere. Yeah, I, th I think the, there's like a, an ironic twist on the story really when he sold the place. Oh, yeah. I think he sold it to... He sold it to the soap man. Yeah, yeah, his, his nemesis. He did indeed. And the estate where I live, He's called Thornhill, oh, yeah. and he was called Thornhill Simpson, and that's where his house was, oh, and the right. estate's named after him. Right. So I live on an estate where one of the were the world's first notorious polluters uh, <laughs> lived, because it's named after him. So. Oh, dear, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can see why Charlie would get would be pretty agitated about all that. Yeah, especially when he's trying to preserve. What doing here, exactly. And just like environmentalists today, when when something is happening that's not necessarily in everybody's best interest. Oh yeah. They uh, they kick up a fuss. Yeah. But in, in those days that would have been quite un unusual. Because Unprecedentedly un oh, unusual. Oh, you know, I mean, the Victorians, they weren't worrying about the environment, they were worrying about progress in inverted commas. Yeah. But ironically, I think the progress eventually will uh, enable the proper conservation oh, yeah, of the environment yeah. as technology goes yeah. forward you have to recognize it's a, another value you uh, go. this is this is the mud you can you can you can what if you want to walk around it get my yeah. arm it's the, the, it's just it's this part and then it's a bit slippy on the hill yep. okay. but this, we're getting towards the end the edge of the lake here yeah right. so we're getting close to it's where we need to be Lake, isn't it? Mm. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. You grab my hand if you. Uh... Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So he must. Have... There. Thank you. Yep. It's amazing when you think. You know, he 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 would have known this this lake like the back of his hand. He'll have walked on this path and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean. Oops. Oh, Dust on the. <laughs> yep. Coming. I bet. Slightly yeah. 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 Yeah, but. Oh, you've got a bit of a. Right, but it's. That's not that. This is the intrepid part. Thankfully, it's not. It's We're nearly there thing. now. Oh, this is a rhododendron, so no. Okay. Done it. Okay, I can do this. This is about as close as, close as you get to chopping through the bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We bought some sticks each, you yeah, know, and they're they're nicely in the car, in the boot. Walking poles. Walking poles. Yeah, use one of those to get up Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. We like them just because you know, talking about balance. You know, it, it gives you confidence. Three points of contact. Yeah. And, and, and today we could have used them and been. Hmm, we could have done. Hmm. Because if this was easy, more walkable, it'd be. Okay. I might go that side. I'm okay. You go. Okay. Make sure I'm okay. Watch out here. There we go. Drop bears. Drop bears. Yeah. Right. Well, that was so It's like a malarial swamp here with all the flies. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> Drop bears are what they. I met Australians. Terrorise, terrorise tourists new, with. new tourists with the 
you know, what have I got to walk? You know, you know you've got all the stories about all the unpleasant things that can kill you in Australia. <laughs> yeah, are, are grossly over exaggerated, and Australia, Sharks, Australians love, you know, to <laughs> lay it on. It's the drop bears you've got to be really worried about. And they drop, got drop bears? <laughs> what are drop bears? Never heard of them at all. Wow. They sit up in the tree. And drop on you. They do, and they drop on you and smother you. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a bit easier now. Whoops, mm. a daisy. I slipped the last time. <laughs> I just trod in the mud there, love. And it just... so the upper part is oh. so the there it's Okay. Having to walk like this though, this is the more strenuous activity, yep. isn't it? it? Is. That's where I slipped where you <gasps> well, I'm not gonna go there. No, I just slipped a tiny bit of slip, it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, but me, last time I did something like this, I went straight over and ended up covered in mud. Yeah, that was me the other day. Oh. <laughs> and then we went to we a... We were on the way to a... A, a dinner a, party. No, a pub. All oh, right. North, on the north, north coast of Devon, and, and I, we ended up we're going to a pub for lunch. I said, I ca cannot possibly go inside. So we sat outside with me covered in dried mud. <laughs> I said to Margaret when she was approaching this, is there a gate around the gate, you know, and the, the cattle had churned it all up. And I said, took me back to my school days when I remember, all, you know, how to, the best way to get through that sort of thing. And uh, I think you can take either of these, they just join back up there. Okay. Oh, right. And then... I didn't listen and I ended up in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had, a, I had an experience when I was at, at university in Durham and I was, it was like a fireworks night on November the 5th sort oh, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was this like uh, grass verge at the college. Yeah. And it was a bit wet. And I got this sparkler and I shouted to everybody, look at me. Oh, yeah. And just on the moment I said, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> slipped down. And I got a right laugh. <laughs> yeah. But then when I, I got changed and then I came back and it was all over. This is where we need to go. This ah. Uh, ah. reminded me of... Right. We're doing what we was doing last time. This is okay. This this was one of the, this is the marker. points where <laughs> yeah. navigation point. So we we're going to be going uh, just across a little stream. It's, it's there's like a bridge over it. What? Oh yeah. It rains a bit here, dear. Yeah. Oops. This is a bit slippery. It's not. No, it's not a castor oil plant. Oh, it could be anything that I don't. What I don't want is stingy nettles. We've got the nettles there. Yeah, there's some here. Wow. Okay. Two, I can help you get through. <laughs> it's only just go up the hill and it's just to the right. I've just uh, pushed the brambles to one side oh, a bit so you can... Right, sorry, I'm just no, no, it's taking all... photographs. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> can, can hold on to my arm. Yeah, yeah, I will, Chris. Okay. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. We're nearly there now. Okay, yep, yep. It's here where I slipped around here. Yep. So just be careful. Yep. Okay. What? Okay, so say, all right. You seem pretty fit anyway. <laughs> We're not too bad. I'm, oh, hang on. Yeah, there must have been a bridge here. Oh. Whoa. There's a bridge here. Yeah, because it goes, this is like a, like a little tunnel or something. Yeah, it was. Look at the well, stone. Yeah. You can, this is where they rode it up to, up to here. Oh, I see, it's flowing that way. See? Yeah, but this the, into the lake. Look at these. It's almost it's like swamp stones land, that they've brought in. Yeah, this is this is what I'm saying about this would have been like a little bridge or. Oh, it's magic, isn't it? Come up here for picnic lunch. <laughs> or not. It'd be a lot nicer if it was like a normal summer, uh, and it wouldn't have the mud. Yeah, I know, but it's pretty good now. Don't you dare! No, I'm not going. No. To. <laughs> Too slippy down there. Yeah. Don't you dig I'll wind up my bum. Oh, look at this. 
Look at the ferns growing over there. Oh yeah. Right, okay. Climb, climb. It's still, it's obviously jumped, there's a hole under there, obviously. Yep. It's, down, it's, still, it's still a bridge. And this is the final marker, this broken down uh, tree. Yes. Uh, yeah, so just a few steps. Yep. As soon as how they, they should put some signs up. I'm sure they will as they uh, yeah. they're promoting this more. I'm really glad that they're promoting it rather than discouraging. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So there's a little path going off to the right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went across the when I was looking for it, but then I noticed this. It's been a bit of an expedition, <laughs> but we're nearly there. <laughs> Just hits you in the end. Do we walk back the same way, Chris? Or yeah, yeah, exactly the same. Unless you want to be really adventurous. No. <laughs> no. Really? No, we're going fast. It's better to keep on mission, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> you can hear the water a bit again. Right at the back there. Yeah, I'm okay. Charlie's doing alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we are. Just a bit further, and you can ah! see. You can see how it's missed, can't Holy you? Holy moly! Oh. So that's the actual grave, and then there's a cross at the other side. Oh, for goodness' sake! Oh my. You can see on the. You can see how people can't can't find it. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. I think the man will be impressed that nature oh. has even even sort of taken over his, his grave. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Somehow, where's the, where's the water from it's here? It's obviously silted up. Uh, yeah. Because this will have been at the water's edge. Don't yes. know if, I don't know if that's significantly stone there, but... Well, you'd assume it would, because look, there's, there's more here, all going around here. Yeah. Gee, I'll tell you what, if they dug through there... It's like a lot of places you see, the, like like if you go to Pompeii, it's not near the sea, but... Yeah, yeah. It, um, it, it's like this, it's all silted up. Oh, go away, God, that's a mosquito that would uh, suck your blood. Um, oh, look at them. Oh, they're shocking. I didn't, oh, I didn't no. bring any repellent. No. Didn't think I'd need it. Charles, can you smile, please? Smile. <laughs> gotcha. Look, do you a technical issue here? Is there? Yeah. See that. Oh, After all those settled. years. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. That is... Gee, David Waterton Anderson's going to be a bit miffed. I wonder if he can he could walk up here. He's we well, can come here. I, know, but I don't know how agile. How far how far away does he? I don't, I don't he lives Dave... in um, Selby. No, it's not too too no, bad. It's not, too bad. it's not the original cross though, apparently. Oh, oh really? It was originally like out of stone and I think this is out of concrete. Because I think somebody stole the original. And who built this one then? Oh, it'll be the local authority, I would think. It is concrete, isn't it? So it'd probably be nice to be able to sort of put a proper stone on it. Well, for goodness sake, look at that. But it could be uh, a good spot, but... At least at the moment, it's, it's sort of shrouded in mystery. When people can't find it, go, oh, Waterston's grave and blah, blah, blah. Just careful uh, of the shoes. Yes, I know, I've they... seen them, I've, I've, I've killed one. One? 
Well, I'm taking, I'm keeping you from them from you. They're flying around you. Yeah. They are. My God. I know. But, but as, as oh, Chris, yeah. Chris says, oh look, this is where the water would come to. Yeah. See, and there's stones all through here. Look, and if they, if they um, cleared this up, I bet they'd find all sorts of stuff here. Go away. Damn stupid. No. It shows how nature sort of takes over. Oh yeah, it's oh. like it's taking over the canal and all the industrial stuff. Yeah, and, when and you think about what was it, eighteen when? <laughs> Two hundred years ago. But it's uh, like an artificial lake. So it's ninety-eight years ago, wasn't mm. it? No, yeah. was it the two hundredth year of his birth or his death? What's coming up in twenty twenty-six? No, no, that's not. That's, that's um, that was the wall, I think. When the, the wall, wall was built. That's the wall. wall. Oh, okay. He died in eighteen. 60 something I think it was okay well so there's plenty of oh gee I think they've got he died in 1869 I think it was because I went or 1868 I went no 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 1865 because I was at school and I got invited to a celebration dinner by some family members in Wakefield so I have been to Wakefield before for his, it was his 100th anniversary of his death. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, but it's pretty terrific. Oh, no, I think it's fantastic. I'm so pleased we came. I wouldn't... Well, at least you can pay your respects to your ancestor and... Precisely. Uh... Wow. Precisely. Mm. As I say, it's interesting. So where's the lake? Mm, that's, that's what Margaret was saying. Like, somewhere. Yeah, it's out there out somewhere. There, yeah. But I mean, I'm just wondering about what I'm worrying about is levels. The the water level can't be much higher than it is now. It's probably lower. Oh, is that is that water there you can see? Oh yes, I think it is. I think so, it is. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, I can see it there. Yes, I think that's it. So you know, so yeah, you can imagine soil washing down. This is the original lake mm. edge of the lake. Yeah, well, rain comes down. Yeah, precisely. It goes into the water. Precisely. I think they have to. I think when they've. I think on, on some occasions they've actually emptied the lake and dredged it. Yeah. And I think that's when they found some of the artifacts. Oh, okay. But you can see too. This has settled at this edge, probably because of erosion. Mm -hmm. And because um, they wouldn't have built it like that on an angle. No, that's true. So, I never noticed that. But it's, you know, oh, yeah. So, so it's, it's 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 had erosion here, and it's probably why this thing. It's they will have fallen over, you know, mm. just be unstable. Yeah, that's the engineering, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, we all look at things based on our, our knowledge, our background. You can grab all the Maham if you want. Oh, thank you. I will, actually, and then that, that, that's helpful. I wish I had brought those, those poles. It just gives you so much more. Com it's com it's all to do with confidence. It's nothing to do with it's not physical. Right, let me just take a couple of photos. Oh, I'm so glad we came here. Thank you so much, Chris. No, it's it's brilliant to bring you here. I haven't been here that many times, but yeah. it's quite a nice serene spot really. Oh it is. It's a beautiful spot. I'm so pleased that I came here. Good. I'll follow you to support you if you, okay, uh, thank you. you yeah, fall back. Right. Gonna... I don't know what the what the the writing says on the on the bottom there. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. Pro right, animal. But... Right, so pray, pray, something to do, pray for me or something. Charles Waterton. I'll tell you what I can't do. I'm going to cheat. Mm -hmm. Alright, pray for the soul 
Orate, Pro Anima, Paroli. Oh, I've only got, I've only got, I haven't got all of it. Let me just have another go at getting that. Appropriately so, in Latin. <laughs> oh yes, of course. But pray for the soul of Carolus, of course, which is Latin for Charles. Let's have a look at that one. Carolus Waterton. He just fess, I don't know what that means. Juxta. Hang. Something. Hang Crusen. Gloss. Something here. Something. Uh, something. Osa. Inter. Sepelis. But his bones are here or something. Mm. My Latin's extremely bones. limited. <laughs> yeah. Well, I spent five years learning Latin and... They say it helps you understand language. Well, they say it does. Yeah, it is. And it's, it is. It, I, I never, I, you know, I was always of the scientific bent and in those days, you know, you, I'm wasting my time doing Latin. Mm, well, it's good oh. for scientific names of things. Oh, and, yeah. and I also spent three years learning ancient Greek. <laughs> But once again, had a proper classical education. Yeah, it was a classical education. But did you learn ancient Greek by learn, learning the, or reading the classics in Greek and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so you, you, get, you get a lot of lessons, I think, in terms of statecraft and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, but I, no, well, I it, never got that far, really. You know. Sorry, I'm on. No. You're right. Um, but uh, I learned a bit about you know, the, the, the um, classical literature and. But I've forgotten it all because I used to think it was a complete waste of time. <laughs> Whereas now, I even thought I wouldn't mind going back to university and doing a classics degree. Mm. But then suddenly it got expensive. No, I think if, if a lot of the world leaders re read sort some of the classics, oh, it would be yeah. beneficial. Absolutely. It teaches you about the mistakes of Absolutely. of the past. Margie, you didn't see the wording. But I took a photo. Just at the base. Helpfully, he's taking the photograph. I'll take the photograph. It's in Latin. Oh, so you can you can. I've got some of it. You can tell me what it. it means. Yeah. What is? Yeah. And look it up. It'll be much nice, much easier to read sitting down. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. His Latin used to. Oh, they're still here. They're here. Those mozzies. I moved because look. Okay. Well, we'll look at it later. Get out of the mozzies. Come on. Go on then. Off you go. Oh well, I don't. Oh okay. Oh, you want me to be the trailblazer? 